Welcome to Five Fast Facts. I'm Sammy Kincaid and this is Mark Daniels. Mark, Space Game. The guys are back home. What have you been preparing for this broadcast? Well, the Space Game's awesome. Uh, fans are excited about the uniforms, the helmets, and all the merchandise. And here come the Houston Cougars, some background in Houston. So the school's founded in 1927 and originally designed as a place to educate those that wanted to become teachers. And uh, the school has advanced and uh, now one of the larger universities in the state of Texas. And one of their alumni, some NBA fans might recognize the name. Yeah, Tillman Fertitta is the largest athletic donor to the University of Houston. Landry's Restaurant, he's the CEO founder of those. And again, he bought the Houston Rockets a few years ago, and he's the largest athletic donor at Houston. A lot of their facilities has his name on it, and obviously a big supporter for uh, the Cougars. And they played SMU last week, but that also... A little bit of history. Yeah, SMU's had this great season uh, undefeated. And go back uh, after the death penalty for SMU, the first year they came back and played football, they played a Houston football team that was pretty good. And uh, the famous game was 95-21. Uh, Houston had more than 1,000 yards, 1,021 <laughs> yards uh, that year. And that was uh, where Andre Ware was a backup quarterback on that team and uh, how time has changed over the years. But uh, it's been 30 years since that 95-21 game and over 1,000 yards for Houston in that game. And they have a new head coach. What's a little bit about Dana? Yeah, Dana Holgerson was at West Virginia for a number of years, offensive mind, and uh, took the job at uh, Houston and uh, has come in with that same mentality of throwing the football. They're 3-5 and five this year, but they've played a ton of close football games, including a close game against SMU their last time out. And that's what I was about to say. Don't pay attention too much to their record because, like you said, it was very close last Thursday against SMU. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> De'Ara King is a guy that coming into the season was a candidate for play of the year, and you know it, it got a lot of uh, coverage as he opted to redshirt, as a few other players did for Houston. They've got a number of guys sitting out this year, and it's kind of gear up to 2020 once they fell to 1-3. and three. They had a tough schedule to start the year. Clayton Toon is the quarterback that threw for over 400 yards in their last football game. So offensively, they still got a lot of guys that can get out there and make big plays for them. The challenge for the UCF defense in a game like this is open field tackling. Don't give up the big play on third downs and kind of force them in the third and long. And if you do that, they're a different football team. But when they get going on first and second down, they can move the football. So despite their record, they're a team that has success when it comes to a, a yards in the air. Awesome. Well, thank you for telling us what you've been preparing for. And we'll see you next week when we cover Tulsa.